Good morning. I'm here on behalf of Millie Peas today to talk about a new product to this store, which is really fun. It's an insulated lunch bag, which is what this is. And it's just absolutely sweet. You can see how this, and I will show you later in the video a little bit more about the inside too, but it's just a, just a sweet little lunch. And you could use it for other things too, but it will be insulated. And what I want to talk about is it comes, everything comes in a bag with your insulation, comes with your zipper and your cording and, and, and a bottom, a bag bottom as well that we'll, you'll see during this video. So what we're going to start out with is we start out with the big insulated piece and you get two pieces like this, which is really nice. And what's really cool about this, what I really love, is that the it tells you where to place the zipper on here. So you don't have to guess, is it here, is it here, whatever. And it has dashed lines, and those are your sewing lines that we're gonna sew with. So again, I will show you a little bit about that, but this is just really nice the way this is. June Taylor is who uh, makes this, and it's what she's done has been great. So we're gonna start out with this, is you know how we always have to have our inside and our outside of our bag. So we're gonna start out with, they, it tells you what size to cut. So you cut your pieces, right sides together, and then you lay one of your batting pieces on the top. You do not sew where it says zipper itch, but what we do is we're gonna come in here and on the dotted line, we are going to sew the bag. So it's going to look like this piece right here. This is what I've done. This is showing you, here is the zipper edge. Here you can see how I've stitched it down all the way around. And then what you would do is you would cut on the line, the solid line that goes around. That is your cutting line. So once you have that done, it's going to look like this. So now what you're going to do is I clip my corners a little bit like this one is. I would just go and clip all of them. And then you're going to turn this piece so it's right sides out is what you would do. So when you are going to turn this, it's going to look like this. So here is your turn piece. Here's my outside. Here's my lining. And of course, the one thing that I would suggest to you is like this is a directional piece. So we want to make sure that we are horizontal with where the zipper is going to be with our, um, with our print. If you don't do this, you would run into the risk of having it going the wrong way. So we want to make sure we don't do that. Now once we get that done, now we're going to work on doing our um, handles. So what we're going to do is we take a piece of fabric and what I've done here is I've folded it together and pressed it. Then I've taken the outside and folded to the inside. Also on the ends I have folded in about an inch so that leaves this so that it's nice and finished. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to take our cording and we're going to set that on the inside here on one side. Then folding this over, folding this over again. And you do that for the whole length of the strip. And once you do that, you're going to top stitch on both sides. So it's going to look like this one is. So after this has been top stitched, now is when we are going to want to put this onto our, gotta get the right piece here, onto our bag front. And it tells you how far up to put these, how far to space this, how far up to put this, and that leaves the handle open like this. So you're going to do your cross cut or your cross stitching right in here which is going to secure this handle more. Once we have that done, now we are ready to put our zippity do done zipper in. And that's what this is. 
I've already stitched this on one side. And if you've never worked with a zippity do done zipper, they are amazing. I've left this piece so that I can show you. This is what I do when I'm going to put them on. I open up the zippity do done zipper and then I lay the bag right into the zipper like this. Then I fold this over and I would put a couple pins in this. And you want to make sure when you're doing this that you are lining these up perfectly here because this is going to end up being stitched together. So you want this lined up. Once you have this lined up, you can go ahead and you can stitch on the edge of the zipper right in here. Then you are going to want to come and stitch back and forth again here. I've already done it once. The reason you're doing that is because you're going to secure the zipper because we're going to cut the ends off. So you're going to always want to make sure that you have your zipper on the middle here. And once you have this sewn on and you've gone back and forth here and you've cut this, now at this point you want to make sure that this zipper is open a ways. So I've opened it up because the next step is going to be, we're going to be putting that together and that is this step right here. We have the zipper on and what I've wanted to show you also is you can do a decoration. This zipper is wide enough. You can do a nice decoration in here or you can place gross gray grain ribbon in here. Here's another sample of some uh, little stitching that you can do on here that could just dress your bag up a little bit depending on what your, you know, what your preference is for your bag. I just thought it's kind of a fun little way to do something extra on these. So once we have the zippers in and you've done whatever you choose to on this, we're going to fold it together like this. We're going to stitch our bottoms right here. And that's what I've done here. I've stitched the bottom together. Then you're going to take and you're going to sew your side piece. This one is sewn. So we're going to take and we're going to sew this side piece down. Then at that point, what you can do is you can pull this apart. And I like to open this up because it's a little less bulk. So if you can see how this is opened up a little bit, then I stitch across this. And what I'll do is I actually go across it twice just to reinforce this because it really needs that. Then once you have that done and your zipper is open, of course, you've done that on all four. Now you have your bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out so I can turn this inside out so you can see what it looks like. All your seams are finished with this method. You don't have any raw seams anywhere on here. So it looks very professionally made. So then you're just going to turn your bag out. And at this point, if you choose to, which I did on this one, all of your kits come with a piece of plastic that is a bag bottom. And all you do is you make a little, uh, a little sandwich that you can put the plastic in and then you just stitch over the one end. And this fits perfectly on the inside of your bag. And that just adds a little bit more stability, if you can see this, it adds a little bit more stability to the bottom of your bag. This is so cute. It's just so cute. And like I say, you, this could be used for something other than a, you know, a lunch bag. It is insulated, so that of course is an extra little feature, but you could use it for anything. Now I okay, now that we've gone through the demo, I want to talk a little bit about how Millie's have done this great job of putting these kits together. So when you order your kit, say that you've ordered this little kit, this one here said that it would be best to be paired with a white zipper. So then you would look when you get your batting, when you're going to purchase your batting, there is, they tell you which zipper is in the batting. So you would want to make sure that you purchase the one with the white zipper. Unless, of course, you decide you want a different color. I mean, that's totally up to you. You have the choice to do this. But like a lot of these, 
like this one is adorable too. I mean, I like all of them, but this one says to pair it with a gray zipper. And so in this batting, there is the gray zipper. So make sure that you look for the one that should coordinate with the fabric that you're going to purchase. Well, I hope this was informative to you. Thank you very much.